Okay, friends, let's start another What We Ate. It's Friday night and we're eating leftovers. Kind of leftovers, kind of not. I don't know. Pretty much every meal, there's something that was left over. Like we just, are, meals are a rolling thing. The tails of one meal become the heads of another. Let me show you what that looks like today. I have, I pulled out some slow roasted pork. It was kind of half frozen and I had just washed this crock pot. So I just threw the pork in there with a bit of water on high at about two o'clock and it actually could probably just go to low now. Oh, this here is just some buttermilk. I couldn't find the right size lid. Buttermilk. Buttermilk straight from making butter is just like milk consistency. In order to get actual buttermilk, you gotta let it sit out. This is with raw milk only. And then it thickens up. So it's not quite there. It'll be there by tomorrow morning. It's starting to go. And then I'll find the lid or put it in a different jar. And it'll go in the fridge and we'll use it for buttermilk in baking. On the last what we ate, I was talking about sprouts, but I never showed you what they looked like. So here they are. They're, I'm gonna give them another day or two and then my kids are gonna devour these. This is a one and a half quart jar. So earlier I washed and cooked some potatoes, skin on and everything. I'll drain a bit of water out of there and then I'll add butter and milk or maybe sour cream. I love sour cream and mashed potatoes. Mash them up and we'll eat that with the pork as well as we'll probably eat some sauerkraut with it. So boys are having some screen time after all the chores are done and it's dark out, which is basically dark out. It's screen time. In winter, that's one of our guidelines, is that there's no screens before it's dark. So if they're like, can I watch a show? I'm like, it's not dark yet. There's obviously exceptions, but that's our general rule. So a friend of mine, just while I was filming this, just came and dropped off two of the cutest loaves and they're gluten-free sourdough bread. She uses Marissa Froze um, gluten-free sourdough course. This is a plain one. This is cinnamon raisin, I think she said. It smells really good. Um, they smell delicious and I can't wait to try them. Good morning. Marys and I are enjoying coffee and Mac made buckwheat crepes. We have some Nutella, well it's Kirkland Nutella, that we bought as a treat and they are having Nutella crepes. And it's pretty snowy out. Sunday lunch, which means soup. We just pulled out, Marius wanted a fresh block of cheese. This is a December 2020 hot pepper Gouda. And it looks good. It's probably pretty spicy because it gets spicier the longer it sits. We grabbed some buns from the freezer and then that pork roast you saw the other day or when I warmed up pork in the slow cooker, I did leek, potato, pork, kale, broth, soup. So that is lunch today. Because of our bountiful honey harvest this year, Marius has dove into making mead. He read a book called Make Mead Like a Viking, and I've never seen him so engrossed in a book. He was so into reading it. It was pretty cute. And now he is making piles of mead, most of it to age for a while. Mac is chopping both french fries for dinner from our homegrown Siglinda potatoes, but he's going to dice some up for hash browns in the morning. I'm going to quickly cook them a bit while I'm cooking something else and already in the kitchen so that in the morning they are faster and we'll have bacon in the morning. I baked a squash a few days ago when I was roasting something else in the oven, so I just peeled it now. I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to bake with it. Got a cute baby on my hip here. I also cut up some carrots and beets to roast for dinner. There's a hunk of tallow on, oh no, that's ghee, sorry. 
And then just some plain carrot sticks for those who don't like cooked carrots. The rest of my family, um, I like beets, but the rest of my family doesn't really. Um, so I haven't grown them, but a friend gave us some beets and the kids were just eating some raw and they actually thought they tasted pretty good. So I'm interested to see how they like them cooked and maybe we might start growing beets. That'd be awesome because they keep in the root cellar so well. It'd be another thing alongside carrots and potatoes. It would keep in the root cellar well. Oh, are you hungry, baby? <laughs> we decided on Good Cheap Eats blog pumpkin rolls. And we're making a double batch of those with that pumpkin or squash, I guess. And Amos found something fun on the floor. I think it's a clothespin. I honestly loathe Play-Doh. I don't know why, I just do. But I gave both of the girls, oh, you're cleaning up your game? A tray with, you know, just like a bun worth of bread dough and some flour. And it's gonna keep them busy for a- I made a movie. Yes, I think you're hungry too. You have a bottle somewhere. And mama needs to go milk. Mama's gonna milk the cow. Homemade cream cheese is getting whipped with some homegrown honey as well as, I don't know what she's showing me there, but we've got some heavy cream from Jessa as well, and we're making fruit dip. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rowan. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. God bless you always. God bless you always. God bless you and keep you. God bless you always. Hip hip hooray! Blow them out. Yeah. <laughs> Try again. Tonight we had leftover stew and buns, which is awesome. Then we have these chocolate toffee squares, which are a classic off my blog. We were just enjoying a low light candle dinner until we had to, you know, sing happy birthday and all. The trick is getting stirring and sending it cascading over the top. Can you show me your stir stick again? I can see it right now. Most strongly of Saskatoon's over here. <laughs> Dad. Snowy day outside. Surprise, surprise. Marius made ramen for lunch. So we've got some hooray, beautiful hooray. broth, noodles. So you got in his pickled quail eggs, pickled hot peppers, pickled chanterelles. And Lots of pickles. We got sauerkraut and then some cut up venison heart that we cooked the other night. Good morning, friends. Last night for dinner, we had fish and chips at my in-laws, which was very delicious. And this morning, we've got sourdough Corazan or Kamut, as the brand name is, waffles with, oh, you've got your warm milk with cinnamon. Everybody had warm milk and, yes, and you have your soother. Like, Can I have your soother? Because it's not really soother time. So we've got peach pie filling we made and we're enjoying waffles with peach pie filling. I soaked buttermilk, fresh ground kamut, and sourdough starter overnight and then this morning added eggs, baking soda, salt, and butter. Delicious, kind of just a made up recipe based on a not sourdough waffle recipe I have. And then I also Oh look, more bread dough. This is my soft sourdough master recipe. And it's a huge bowl so it doesn't look like much but it's a four loaf batch. Oh. 
You're making buns or bread? Which would, I, what Both. would you like me to make? Both. I'll make buns and bread. And of course, coffee, coffee, coffee. I slightly under bake some of the waffles and then we freeze them and they're great toaster waffles for a busy day. Ooh, that is boozy. Are you sure you didn't add whiskey to that? That's just what we did. Wow. Whew. <laughs> I know, right? Trying this, Rowan. That is just what we added. Here. That is what did we add? Some honey? Honey water and some, some of the Saskatoon. No, and some of the starter. I didn't throw any anything. I might. Have. Wow. Yeah. 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 We're back at Friday again. For breakfast, I made French toast with some leftover buns. We're going to have nachos for lunch and. I think venison for dinner.